Hello, I'm Kevin Koreski, and welcome to my video blog. Uh, since the last video blog, I um, sat down and, and chatted with my coach, Jim Lubinsky, to go over the, uh, the plan for um, 2012. And we came up with uh, three races that I will be doing. And uh, before I go any further, I just want to say that I'm really happy to announce that I'm going to be racing with uh, Team uh, Red, White, and Blue. Uh, they are a nonprofit organization that help out uh, wounded warriors, um, military veterans, and uh, I'm really happy that uh, I can be part of this. I am a veteran of the U.S. Navy. I went to the Persian Gulf War. I served from uh, uh, 1990 to 1994. So, anyways, let's get back on track. So I had a chat with my coach Jim uh, Lebinsky about my race plan for 2012. And uh, we also talked about uh, the May Project and talked about the two races that I am eyeing, Wildflower and St. George. And we thought about, uh, <clears throat> we sat back and thought about what's the most realistic of the two races, which one can I be most successful at. And uh, we talked at length and then we got into talking about my fitness and where I think it's at right now and how, um, how we need to ease into things. You know, I've been off, I haven't raced in a while. I raced one race this summer over in Carlsbad, California, and it was a sprint distance. And other than that, I've just pretty much been holding a base with no direction. Some people ask me all the time when I bring up my training on Twitter and Facebook, what race am I, am I training for? And I keep telling them I'm just building base for life and uh, to stay in some kind of, some kind of shape. And... So taking that into consideration where I'm at, what I've been doing on a, on a regular basis, Jim and I have formulated a plan and we're going to ease into things for these first few months. And I think after the first of the year, after the holidays, things are really, really going to take off. Um, it's kind of hard this time of the year to, to really, really get into depth training. you got Thanksgiving coming up, Christmas, New Year's, uh, parties, food, <laughs> lots of food, lots of cheer. So... I think that uh, we're really going to start putting our emphasis on uh, what's going to happen after uh, January 1st. So for now, all we're really working on is keeping up a base, easing into things, spending some time on a treadmill, working on my weakest of the three events, which is running. Um, I'm working uh, also with uh, closely with uh, Melina Glusek, who is a professional marathoner. And with her guidance and uh, Jim Lebinsky's guidance on the triathlon side, I feel really, really good that things are going to come together for 2012. I know what my goals are and my first goal is always to come across that finish line. Um, I'll fight tooth and nail at any race that I get get into to uh, achieve that goal. And uh, yeah, and we'll see what the reality comes about uh, January on to March to see what happens to California 70.3 and that's also going to be another great test to see where I'm at uh, heading into the May event. So. At this point, there's really not too much to um, to talk about. So, um, I've been hitting the road on the bike with a few of my training partners, going to the gym, getting on the treadmill three times a week. And uh, right now, the body's feeling really good. My mind's feeling really strong. I'm, I'm really engaged, and I'm really, really looking forward to 2012. And uh, I sat down with uh, Kim Mueller to go over some nutrition ideas on how I can get uh, get to the weight that I want to be at. And uh, I'm going to be really honest with you folks, I'm not losing weight for a race. I'm 40 years old and I'm right now, you know, I have a lot to worry about as I, as I look into my next 40 years. And so when I talk about my nutrition in these video blogs, you're going to hear triathlon talked about a lot, but um, I'm really doing this nutrition change as a change of life and uh, developing better habits for the next 40 years of my life. It's, it's more of a lifetime goal than it is a race goal. And with uh, triathletes, I think sometimes we get skewed and we're more worried about race weight than we are um, what our long-term goals are outside of the sport. And, and uh, the sport's always going to be there. We only get one life. So um, that's it for now. And uh, I'll talk to you guys in a couple weeks. I hope this is uh, valuable information. And uh, train hard. Train safe and uh, enjoy life. Take care.